what is bone on bone? This is when the cartilage on this bone and the cartilage on this bone decrease, leading to a smaller joint space and more pressure, creating tissue swelling, which can lead to cartilage cell death. So oftentimes bone on bone is related to prior trauma in the knee. With age, cartilage naturally loses its resilience. So truthfully, this decrease is normal. But in this video, I'm going to make a case about why this does not have to be common. Dry needling on the bone line of the knee leads to clinically significant differences in pain and function compared to just exercise alone. One such study found that pain went from 8 out of 20 to 3 out of 20, stiffness from 4 out of 8 to 1 of 8, and function from 58% of baseline to 85% of baseline. So with dry needling alone, you can improve pain, stiffness, and function in a bone-on-bone -bone knee. A systematic review found this technique to be effective for bone-on-bone -bone patients for reducing pain, improving range of motion, and increasing physical functioning. Now, cartilage is mechanosensitive, and what that means is the cartilage cells themselves, the chondrocytes, require appropriate amounts of loading to maintain its structural integrity. What does that mean? An increase in compression and an increase in shear that is cyclic and below tissue failure will influence those cells by changing their metabolism to increase cartilage thickness, increase cartilage surface area, and increase cartilage volume. So with mobilization with movement, which progresses to greater challenge, greater range with the ATG split squat, you can decrease pain, improve range of motion, and increase function, yes, even when bone on bone. Exercise is always two to three times more effective than using Tylenol. It just needs a sufficient dose and duration to be effective. The major risk factor for progression of cartilage disease is quad muscle weakness. So it only makes sense that with quad specific exercises, there is a significantly greater pain reduction than using general lower limb exercise, which was found to lead to increases in femoral cartilage thickness, increase in molecular weight of hyaluronic acid, and an increase of viscosity of the joint synovial fluid, an increase in cartilage turnover. An added benefit, every pound of weight that's lost through exercise, you actually get an additional four pounds of force decreased at the knee joint with each and every bend that you take. While knee arthroscopy has been shown to create more problems than it actually fixes. Finally, there has been countless cases of bone on bone knees finding success with the progressions of the ATG system, which have within themselves exhibit B and exhibit C. While our physical therapist team at Fit for Function has seen dry needling to be a great benefit anecdotally to our bone on bone patients, which only becomes augmented as you mobilize and exercise to greater ranges of pain free ability. So we now have a working hypothesis on how the science backs the results. Your bone on bone is not hopeless until you have exhausted the scientific means of dry needling, mobilization, and exercise.